excited to share this recipe with you. There have been a lot of talk about uh, Dr. Pepper recently, and I've been working to create a recipe that I think tastes a lot like Dr. Pepper. And I had somebody test out and they also thought it tasted like Dr. Pepper. So I'm gonna share it with you. Um, keep in mind that if you are new to Trim Healthy Mama or you are new to sugar-free lifestyles, this is not going to taste 100% like Dr. Pepper for you. You need to let your taste buds adjust to the fact that you're not having regular sugar. And the other thing to know about this recipe is there are 17 ingredients. So you have to be committed to Dr. Pepper to make this. We're gonna call this Mama Pepper, I guess. Um, okay, so the first thing you need, I've got all my extracts, there's a lot of extracts. So pour a little, I use, I'm gonna use a two liter bottle because there's so many ingredients, I don't wanna have to make it 47 times. I just wanna make it once. So I poured, Actually, I'm gonna pour a little more out. I'm gonna pour about that much out, a few inches out. You know what, let's just, let's just pour a whole glass out just to make sure we have room, because we can add that back in after. So pour about eight ounces of the seltzer out so you have room to add the other ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna add is a half a teaspoon of almond extract. Chances are you're gonna to have to go order some of these flavors because they are random flavors that you may not have in your kitchen. Half a teaspoon of caramel. So one. And a quarter teaspoons of cherry extract. I prefer the term healthy mama version of the extracts because they are fantastic. Um, five tablespoons of ginger juice. I don't think ginger powder is gonna work in this because it's just gonna rise to the top. So five tablespoons of ginger juice. Uh, if you know how to need, if you need to know how to make ginger juice, um, there's tons of resources out on the Pinterest that'll show you how to do it and in the Trim Healthy Mama group, super easy. Throw your ginger and some water in the blender, strain it, you've got ginger juice. Okay, one and a quarter teaspoons of lemon juice. One. You can use the, um, the funnel for the whole thing if you're messy like I am. Uh, a half a teaspoon of lemon extract. So you got lemon juice and a little bit of lemon extract. Extract is strong, so half a teaspoon of lemon extract, half a teaspoon of molasses. I'm actually gonna put that in last so it doesn't get my spoon all dirty. So one and a quarter teaspoon of orange extract. One and a quarter teaspoon. If you have orange extract, that would be even better. Mine is orange oil, so it kind of separates and I don't like that, but it is what I've got. Um, one and a quarter teaspoons of root beer extract. Whoa, I just made a total mess. One and a quarter teaspoons of root beer. All right, well, you know, whatever. Um, a half a teaspoon of rum extract not rum, don't go putting real rum in here. Half a teaspoon of rum extract. Woo! Smells like a party. All right, half a teaspoon of raspberry extract. Now you can use strawberry if you don't have raspberry. I think any berry flavor would work here. I've only made it with raspberry. Uh, someone else, a friend of mine, made it with strawberry and said it was good. So um, now I'm gonna put in my molasses half a teaspoon of molasses. Just, yes, molasses is high in carbs, but this is a half a teaspoon to mix this entire bottle. It's okay. It's getting that nice dark soda color that we all like in cola. All right, five teaspoons of vanilla. 
Now, if you use a light colored vanilla here, or if your root beer extract is not dark like mine, then it is not gonna have a cola color. It is gonna have a more clear color. It should still taste like Dr. Pepper, but will be light. For me, the visual is important. I don't know why. I know it's not real Dr. Pepper, but the color is still important to me. Oh my word, I'm spilling it everywhere. If you watch my cooking show in the morning, then you know that this is just par for the course for me anyway, really, what difference does it make? No surprise there. Okay. What else? Nutmeg. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. This is, um, you will find that this tends to separate a little and when you pour it in your glass, you may need to, woo, that was almost bad news. You may need to stir it in. That's okay. It's all right, don't worry about it, girls. All right, now this is the most important recipe in my opinion right here. 10 dropperfuls of cola flavored sweetener. This is Sweet Leaf Sweet Drops flavored stevia sweetener. 10 dropperfuls of this sweetener. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you use powdered stevia, this is going to blow because powdered stevia will burst when you put it in with um, seltzer. So, okay. So, I still got some room. That's all my ingredients. Yep, that's all my ingredients. So, I'm going to pour in a little remaining seltzer, fill up the rest of my jug so I don't waste this. And I'm gonna spill it all over my counter at the same time because, you know, why not? And then I am just going to gently stir it up. I have it everywhere. I have it all over my hands, all over my counter. I made the world's, look, it's everywhere. I've made the world's biggest mess. That really doesn't surprise you, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. The molasses is sticky too. All right. I just do this a few times to mix around that molasses, incorporate it well, but you don't want to shake it because it's seltzer. So just kind of mix it around a little bit, let it sit for a few seconds before you open it. Let me get a glass, fill her full of ice. Okay, open it gently. If you've made a total mess like I have, you might like want to wash the cover off before you try to pour this. I have it everywhere. Ay, ay, ay. Cooking cleanly is not my is not my gift. Let me just say that. Being clean at anything is just not my gift at all. All right. Looks like Dr. Pepper. I gotta tell you, it smells like Dr. Pepper. A hundred percent smells like Dr. Pepper, you guys. It smells just like it. Looks like Dr. Pepper. Tastes like Dr. Pepper. All right, you guys, that's it. That's my Dr. Pepper. That's my Mama Pepper recipe. We're going with Mama Pepper. <laughs> All right, so I'll be surprised if anybody can make this right away because who has rum, almond, vanilla, molasses, you know, 17 extracts in their house? Maybe some of you, but most of you I bet don't. But anyway, stick that baby in the fridge and you've got two liter bottle of Dr. Pepper. All right. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoy.